hello guys you all are welcome to another tutorial and this is a new series we are dropping a video on so this is the first video in this series and previously we have been having videos <coughs> on HTML CSS so I'll continue with CSS I'll continue dropping videos on that playlist with CSS so today we are talking about WordPress and WordPress site management so how many of you are out there who really wants to build brilliant website good looking website nice looking website without writing a single line of code I bet you this is your cause so do so by clicking the subscribe button below and turning on the notification bell not to miss any video I drop on this series so basically we talk about WordPress I will be giving you courses on how to work on WordPress the basic things you need to do on WordPress to get your site online and all the stuff to have a wonderful site and there's one lucky thing I have to tell you about this guys this requires no level of coding you don't require any coding experience you just need to learn and get started so from here office will take you guys on an introduction stuff about this the web are basically how the web works before we can enter deeper into it in our next course so let's proceed and if you haven't subscribed to this channel do so by clicking the subscribe button subscribe to code with crest now and you will never regret it yeah so let's get started what is web design actually this is the designing of website that are being displayed on the internet as simple as this it is usually referred to as the user experience aspect of a website so what is then a website or website a website or website is a combination of web pages that is identified by a common domain name and published on the web all publicity accessible websites collectively constitute of the www types of websites hey guys there are many types of websites that exist and we can see some below we have business website we have blog website portfolio website ngo website education website entertainment websites e-commerce website just many many types of website and i assure you at the end of this series you'll be able to build wonderful websites and drop them online without knowing how to write even a single line of code so let's proceed okay what is a domain name because for a website to be online it needs to be on a domain name you have to have something that you type online like abafrica.com for you to have the site accessible so let's proceed a domain name is the unique identification string that identifies or defines the whim of administrative autonomy, authority or controls within the internet or simple. It is a unique name of a website. Like Facebook.com is the unique name. Okay, so types of domain we have .net, .org, .biz, .com, .whatever that you choose when choosing your domain name or however you want it to appear. So that's, those are just the types of domain names. So we talk about what is web hosting. Web hosting service is a type of internet hosting service that hosts websites for clients. And without hesitation, I will also show you in one of these courses here how to get a free domain and hosting so no worry guys that is a surprise I have for you all so you should not be crying that you don't have money to get a domain name or money to have a cPanel for hosting your website so I will give you a course that will guide you on how to get a free domain and a free hosting so okay let's proceed Web hosting service is a type of internet hosting service that hosts websites for clients. It offers the facilities required for them to maintain and make websites accessible on the World Wide Web or the WWW. Companies that provide web hosting service are known as web hosts. A hosting provider allocates space on the web browser for a website to store its file. Guys, I am sure there are some sites you actually visit where they ask you to fill in your URL. So, 
what is a URL. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator and as you can see on the diagram below, it basically shows how the URL is broken down. So the Uniform Resource Locator is divided into four main parts. The first part starts for the protocol which is the hypertext transfer the second one talks about the subdomain the third one is the main domain and then the <coughs> the last is the top level domain which shows the direct domain to which you are found which can be the dot com the dot org or the dot whatever sorry i have it's called over here and this cough so let's proceed this is also known as internet address or web address this is the location of web pages or files in the internet. Let's take for example, your company name is AB Africa. Your domain name is abafrica.com and your URL will be this. Okay. So, HTTPS stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. This is commonly known as web. This is the uniform the, so this is an information system where documents and other web resources are identified by uniform resource locators, maybe hyperlinks and are accessible over the internet. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, do so by clicking the subscribe button because if you don't do so, you're going to be missing out. Okay, let's proceed okay let's talk about wordpress now so what is wordpress wordpress is a free and open source content management system written in php and paired with mysql or maria database features of wordpress include we have plugins architecture and we have templates wordpress is a content management system that allows you to build website it consists of plugin architecture template system which allows to build and customize websites to fit your business, for example, blog, portfolio, etc. as we saw. So now what is CMS? CMS strictly stands for content management system. As we can see on the diagram below, we have CMS being surrounded by different sub things, which we have website administration content, data domain, open source PDF, and network. So, this is a computer software used to manage the creation and modification of digital contents. For example, we have WordPress, we have Joomla, Dropla. So, WordPress is a CMS or content management system. What is a WordPress team, WP team? A WordPress team is a group of files that dedicates the overall appearance of your website. For example, we have the Astra, the Hello World template plugins or wordpress plugins these are small software apps that are being integrated and run on top of the wordpress software example of plugin we have elementor we have wp we have the contact form we have the splash balloon so basically what plugins really mean more is like you have a smartphone that takes apps so plugins are like apps that works for your WordPress site. So they are being installed and add more functionality to your site depending on the way you customize them. So today is the end of the WordPress course series for today. So we're going to be seeing another course where we'll start manipulating and designing stuff. So basically what we have seen so far is just the introduction to WordPress and some few things you need to know before you get started with WordPress. So the program we're going to be using throughout this series is called XAMP Saver. So we're going to be using a local saver. It will be at the end of this course that I will show you guys how to purchase a domain name online. But if you are really in a hurry to get a domain name after the first course, you can go on YouTube, you search for other videos on how to get a free, sorry, on how to get buy a domain name or purchase it. But along the course, I will give you people a video on how to purchase, sorry, on how to get a free domain and a free hosting service. So I thank you all for having watched this video so far. And I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate what you're doing. Please do so by leaving a like in this video. 
and commenting your views on this series and also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel thanks for watching and see you in the next video guys